we will continue down to the lower city and that's where the west wall is but what you can see in front of you is the uh, Mount of Olives in that part of Mount of Olives you can see the white it's white mainly because of the um, cemetery that Jewish cemetery is very important because uh, the Jews believe that when the Masah will come, he will come through uh, Mount of Olives and that will be the first one who will resurrect. Sorry about the noise, they are renovating something here. Uh, to the left, here and there, it's the remains of a German Crusader church. Another thing that you can see from here is the dome of Al-Aqsa. According to the Muslim tradition, at the 7th century, Muhammad reached Al-Aqsa, went to the foundation stone, and we will talk about it soon, and from there has lived in the heaven and met God himself and gave him the five prayers of a day. Above it, you can see a tower, that is the Ascension Church, that's where uh, Jesus ascended into heaven and promised us to come back again. And in that case, uh, Mount of Olives is important for um, important for the Jews and Muslims and Christians. A lot of Jews who ask for charity. Charity is uh, one of the I don't can say must, but one of the ways to help others and it's very common in Israel now, as you can see it's difficult to walk here um, think about all people it will be difficult for them to walk then from the upper city there are building stairs and elevators that will be able at the future to help all people like me you can see it again too we are here and it will be right there Welcome to the Western World Plaza. Beautiful. I do have so many videos of, uh, of it. Um, but let me make it short. Let, that's a short version. I'm, going, I'm taking you to the second temple house that was built by King Herod. King Herod wanted to impress the world by building a huge temple. Then you can see the Western Wall. And that's the corner of the southern wall and we built four walls uh, around the uh, foundation stone which is today the Dome of the Rock and by that he created a huge plaza and he built the second temple on top of it and the second temple was between two to three times higher and wider than the Dome of the Rock of today then. From here, you see how huge it used to be. Then the western wall is only a wall of the plaza, not the holy of the holy. But why the, that area is for you, very important for the Jews? Um, the Dome of the Rock is above a dome, above a rock. And that rock is, according to tradition, is the foundation stone. And that is Mount Moriah, which is the place that Abraham almost sacrificed Isaac. And then God told the Jews to build his house on top of it. Then that is the holy of the holy for the Jews, not the Western world. The Western world became to be holy mainly because the Jews cannot pray on top of it. Um, and why it's very important for the Christians? Because Jesus visited the temple as a Jew three times a year. That is a must. It's called Shloshet and you have to be in the old city. 
Passover is one of them. Jesus never visited the city at Passover. He visited the city at, uh, sorry, he never visited the, uh, the city at Easter time. He visited at Passover time. Later on, it became uh, Easter for the Christians because he was crucified uh, a few, at, just at um, 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 Passover, Passover Eve. And this is Al-Aqsa, remember Al-Aqsa Mas? From there, Muhammad went in the seventh century to the Dome of the Rock and ascended into heaven. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm not entering into the Western Wall. Oh, look at the children. I'm, I am entering into the Western Wall, mainly because of those children. I will uh, prepare a video of it. It's such a beautiful uh, uh, thing. They are getting the Torah book for the first time. And the uh, kings of uh, Jerusalem, the kings of the Western Wall. And this is beautiful to see. They're going to sing and they're going to repeat everything that the rabbi will tell them. And they know by heart. They might be three years old.